do you work from home and you often feel stressed or overwhelmed and you want to find a way to introduce a mindfulness practice into your day to day, but you're too busy. You don't have time to go and balance stones. You don't have time to go and spend hours meditating or doing all sorts of yoga practices. Keep watching. I'm going to share with you four simple ways you can introduce mindfulness practice into your day, even when you're busy. See you in a bit. So you work from home, you, maybe you are self-employed or your boss allows you to work home a few days a week. And maybe this is how your morning unfolds, something like this. Who are you kidding? You do not take a shower when you work from home. You're not kidding anyone. Now the good news is you don't need to spend hours meditating to experience the benefits of mindfulness. If we let that voice in our head run amok, it can fog up our mind. You can't see clearly, you can't solve problems, you can't access your creative cognitive functions, which are all essential. If you run your own business and you're a freelancer, you need all of these functions in order to thrive, not otherwise you're barely surviving to, to be an effective problem solver and to be more effective and productive. So what mindfulness can do is help you just clear the steam off so you can see clearly. Now let's rewind and replay the morning and I'll point out how you can punctuate your day with mindful moments and it doesn't cost you a lot of time. The first thing you need to do now, you, the night before is switch your phone on to switch the Wi-Fi off. Because in the morning, the phone is flashing those notifications. They are as irresistible as a empty cardboard box is to a cat. And checking your phone in the morning is like adding fuel to a fire. It jump starts the voice in your head. And that's a recipe for a disastrous day that will spiral out of your control. You are then at the mercy of your emotion and hashtags and headlines, and you won't get your priorities done. So don't check your phone first thing. One thing you can do as you're walking to the bathroom, be aware of your feet as you are walking to the bathroom. Just feel them on the floor while you are walking to the bathroom. Can you feel your heels, your toes, the balls of your feet, how the floor feels against your feet? Just be aware of it. Just in that moment from when you get out of bed till you reach the bathroom, takes you out of your head and brings you into the present moment. So that's how using your feet can help you punctuate your morning with a moment of mindfulness. Another way you can punctuate your day with a moment of mindfulness is guessing you wash your hands after you've visited the throne. Now, typically when we wash our hands, we're like thinking about our day, about our week, about the thing, conversations. Instead of doing that, pay attention to your hands as you're washing them. Feel the water dripping through your hands and what does, what's the sensation like as you feel the water? Is it warm? Is it cool? Be aware of how the water feels in your hand while you're washing them. That's another way you can clear the clutter in your, in your head by drawing your attention to your hands and feeling the water as you wash your hands. Another way you can punctuate your morning is a common ritual people have is they say they're always making tea or coffee in the morning. Typically people are rushing around trying to do a million other things or they're checking their phone. Instead, what you could do is you can use that moment, 
listen to the sounds around you while you are making your tea. For example, but while the kettle's boiling, just stand there and listen to the kettle boiling. Sounds not judging the sound, not saying, oh, that's noisy, that's a horrible, just listen. And that's it. No judgment, because judgment is when your voice, when your mind is rattling away. Just observe and witness the kettle boiling while it's boiling. The fourth way you can punctuate your morning with a mindful moment is before you open your laptop. Listen to your breath for one minute. Just sit there and listen to yourself breathing for one minute. That's all. You've got a minute. I know you can manage one minute. Yeah. Now, you might need to write um, stick post-it notes as uh, reminders because we tend to forget because we're in such, sometimes we're in automatic mode and we forget. So you'll need to set a reminder, stick it on your, what I recommend is sticking it on your laptop so it triggers you. And what you can also do at the end of your day is an extra bonus but using the same thing at the end of your day when you shut your laptop to help you create a gap so that you can enjoy your evening with your with your loved ones is when you close your laptop again just one minute of breathing to help punctuate that time of your day so you can enjoy the rest of your day Four ways you can punctuate your day with a moment of mindfulness so that you can work with clarity and you can be more creative and more productive and less stressed. Hope that was useful and please share in the comments which one resonated with you or which one you, you will try or if you've tried it come back and tell me how it went and if you found value in this please share it yeah i'm annie skizzlebash thanks for watching coffee in wisdom and i will see you in another episode see you later bye